Yes. So good morning, everyone. So thanks for joining the call on Monday morning hours. So really appreciate it. So everyone. So coming to the today's demos class. So it's a demo. So not the real classes. So before I go ahead and discuss about the real topics. So first of all, everyone should have doubts. So what is SAP here? So why we are choosing the SAP? So what is the main uh, topics which we are going to learn here? So why it is useful to our real cases, right? Why it is helping to the business. Nowadays, if you go everywhere, every organization, everywhere, every business, every customer, they are using the SAP for their businesses. Why? Because SAP this much that is helping to the so business, right? For their day-to-day -day business activities and everything, either the product-based company or so manufacturing company or HR business. In it way, the SAP SAP front is helping here. SAP the screens are helping here. SAP front is helping here, right? So first of all, well, what is SAP here? A few members they already know regarding the SAP is the one of the application software, not the database software. SAP not the OS operating system. SAP is the one of the application software here. One of the application software here, right? So application means, so all users normally, if I talk about the SAP architecture, so you are here, your devices, your browsers, you are here. Through here, you will connect to the your SAP application, right? This application is depend on the database. This application is depend on the database. So SAP is the three tier architecture. SAP is the three tier architecture. So you will log in from here through presentation layer. This is called the presentation layer. SAP is the three tier architecture. So you will log in from here, the presentation layer, then from presentation layer two, then you will go to the application. Then application will open. Suppose if I talk about the application means we have the multiple applications for the business. Suppose if I take the example of the IRCTC, right? Everybody knows about the IRCTC and you have experience on the booking the tickets and everything. So this IRCTC purely running on the SAP, right? So SAP helping, SAP helping to the our central government, our central government to book the tickets. So it's a lot of tickets is booking. Right, you can see here there's a blog also they have written in the article. So per day, you can see here per day, so per day, so millions of millions of tickets are booking. The per day, so millions are taken through to SAP. So SAP is helping to book the tickets. Right? So central government, not only one central government here. So Bhuvaneshwar Metro, Pune Metro, so in all other places, the products. So all other places SAP, they are using the SAP as a their front-end business application to help their business and everything. That's why the cost-wise, the licensing-wise, it's a very so that's why all, all customers are interested and they are implementing the SAP. Their, their businesses they are implementing the SAP. So that so that so whenever you request, so this is the whenever you open here SAP uh, IRCTC screen will open it will connect to the back end sap system then when you book the ticket or something immediately you will get the response and you will book the order that is fine that is happening here right same way here also here opening means through front end you are opening the your sap screen you are opening right then here you will do the transactions the transaction will go into the database level it will store the data into database level then it will give the response back to the client then it will give the response back to the user, right? This is the way the flow of the, the request flow, how the flow of the here. So you are here just to opening in your browser, something like that, something like that. So like IRCTC or Redbus or something like some manufacturing, whatever the product Amazon, whatever you want to book the tickets or orders, anything, you will book here. Then backend, it will connect to the application. Then application is depend on the database. Then the application is depend on the database here. So that will happen here, right? So this is the normally the architecture of the SAP here, right? Here, we are going to discuss about the this one application layer. 
db layer this we are going to discuss about the these two layers are very important why because database we have the separate team database we have the separate team so we have the database administration team but nowadays uh, in the market so they are expecting db roles also from nowadays in the market db roles also so expecting from the basis consultant so that is the reason that is the reason we should know about the some database roles here here database topic side what we are going to discuss nowadays most popular hana database right sap side what we are going to discuss here is the ecc and netweaver products and also s4 hana sir what is this about the all these products here all these products so these all are the sap products all are the sap products if i talk about the unilever products or nestle products we have many soaps shampoos like that right so unilever we will call it as the unilever products main inside we have the many products are there the same as like if i call it as the sap mean sap is not the just a single word sap like it's like so it contains the number of products so first of all this application software sir who founded who invented so what is that history that one right so the detailed discussion i will discuss with you in the regular classes but just give some overview on the sap here in 1972 in 1972 so when it was founded in 1972 overall 51 years ago if i calculate correctly so 51 years ago they have founded the sap who five ex service ibm employees five ex service ibm employees they have founded they have they have created this sap software so they are from west german they are from the west german people german people that's why this is the german product this is the german product not the india product germany product this is a west germany people for ex service ibm people ex service means you know what is mean by ex service when they are living the when they are living the organization that time so deep that time 50 years back their business scenario is different right manually we have to write it manually we have to write in the paper so when you, so manually 15 years ago or 10 years ago 20 years ago how it was the business there is no software at that time right so depends upon their business scenarios that time they have that time they have only one product that is called the main frames ibm main frames now many softwares are in the market now right in that sap is the one of the software here right it's the one of the super software right so it's like one of the enterprise software sap is the enterprise software in 1972 five ex service ibm employees so they have so founded this one so they are the founders they are the founders of the this sap the five ex service ibm employees right so the headquarters also it's in the german waldruf german right so it's a worldwide the people are using this one so this is the so the products if i talk about the sap products if i talk about the products of the sap so products sir sap means you told that not in the one word then what about that one so as i told you here right ecc netweaver s4 ana so sap so if i talk about the sap products they have the sap erp enterprise resource planning and sap crm right then sap scm then sap srm and plm right like that then we have the success factors success factors means success factors you know where to use this one in hr business they will use the success factors right so netweaver platforms netweaver platforms sap right so and also app gear so the some something like that so we have the ariba and cloud platforms nowadays cloud platforms and hybris the toll gate it's all automatic recharging they will use the hybris model and s4 hana s4 hana so we have the s4 hana s4 hana also we have the so systems so these all are the sap products sap products sap softwares they are providing to the customers right suppose you want for your business you, you want to use the so suppose we have the warehouse business then you want to use it then you can use the so then bw system you can use it so warehouse or 
So is enterprise warehouse management, EWM also, you can use it. Nowadays in the US market, this is a very popular now, warehouse management, right? So this is about the, so this is about the, uh, these are about the SAP products, right? In that, in that, so any product, the architecture would be the same. In that, what we are going to discuss is ECC part, the product, NetWeaver part, s part. Sir, what about the other? Others also, SAP, any product, our basis work is common work. Any product, our basis work is common. Our basis roles and responsibilities are common. Our ways of working is common. Our daily monitoring is common. Our daily ways of daily usage is common. Everything is common. Any product. Cut, but most of the critical business core components are the ECC, NetWeaver, s systems are the main. So we are going to discuss on the, this products only. All the topics, everything in the, this, this one only. Right. So here, so what are the topics which we are going to cover here? What are the topics which we are going to discuss here? Right. So if I open the course content here, so by, definitely I have to show this course content to everybody. Why? Because what I am going to discuss with you regarding this one. So the first topic which we are going to discuss with the introduction. That is the first class. That's why in the earlier I commented like we are going to discuss detailed discussion about in the upcoming classes. What is the roadmap strategy, SF roadmap strategy? So what is the landscape here? So which systems we are going to do? ECC, S4, HANA, HANA, all these systems we are going to do this one. User administrations, client, these are the topics, all are the topics here in the SAP side. Background job administrations, like distributed environment, distributed installations, distributed usage, performance tuning, transports, spool, in the printers, we will use the spool administration. Printers. When you go it, it's the printer button, print button, the printout is coming from the system, right? How the printout is coming? Back and who is helping to do the print, right? So, and also corrections, notes, management, maintenance activities, daily monitoring, weekly, hourly, so monthly maintenance, SVP upgrades we are going to discuss, kernel upgrades, major topics, these are the so these topics also we are going to discuss in the upcoming classes. And coming to the database, we are going to discuss about the so data, latest database only. All are the latest database only, right? So latest databases, latest database versions we are going to discuss here, right? So introduction of the database, HANA database. So now it is very popular. If you put the HANA roles in your resume, the, the resume weight is more here. But because every, consult, every organization, every consultant, every so hr they will look for this content if you have the hana roles in a resume your resume will be shortlisted if no hana then if no hana then if you know hana then so your resume will not be shortlisted that is the main thing here right yes for hana roles hana roles and everything so we are going to discuss about the database related topics everything so main things are database related database upgrades also we are going to discuss database replications ha high availability HANA cockpits, right? So security features and authorization, some of the new features in the HANA and uh, marketplace and also tools. What are the tools we are going to use it? Additionally, for the, from last batch onwards, I am going to discuss about the, the Java administration also. The Java administration also, I am going to discuss about the Java administration. So why I have included, if you go anywhere, any anywhere, no one will, will tell this much of course, Java administration, portal administration. But as a basis consultant, our role is the basis consultant. As a basis consultant, you should require this portal knowledge also. Otherwise, sometimes interviewer, they will may ask you questions on the, do you have experience in the Java? If you tell no, then they will give the priority to who knows the Java knowledge also. That's why with the same structure, we are going to discuss about the this Java administration also. Right, it may take four days or five days or one week or ten days, but time timelines are not a matter. But the subject is very important for me, so that's why I am going to discuss about the this Java administration, some of the cloud related knowledge. Cloud, so we have the cloud, Google Cloud, Azure, and AWS. The AWS related overview topics also I will discuss with you here in this batch. So these are the content which I am going to discuss with you here. Main upgrades using the sum tool db upgrades and also system copy methods 
so migrations all this i will cover it in this uh, in this batch migration means system heterogeneous migration and we can use it here some tool the tool usages and more on the the java administration part it's a very important java administration part so these are all the things i am going to cover in our day to day classes right so this is the courses i am going to cover it and also the timelines so maximum i am thinking like 60 days for this batch we because previously 45 days but now i am thinking like 50 60 days the festivals comes that's why 40 days 60 days maximum so daily one hour class so we have the monday to so saturday we have the classes classes are available classes we will run classes monday to saturday but especially on the saturday saturday we have the in the saturday every saturday we have the that week whatever we discussed the monday to friday that will be assessed that we will give i will i will put on the assessments test scenarios some group discussions will happen on the so every saturday so that week whatever we discussed so you have to explain you have to share your screen and have to explain to the internet so yeah so that is a saturday's class assessments some interview point of time mock interviews mock test all these times that things are will happen in the in the saturday's class if the timings are there then we will discuss about the remaining topic but saturday our main priority is in the first hour so the revision interview point of time discussions all these things will happen in the every saturday so regular classes will happen from monday to saturday especially for the saturday we have this 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 one that class is very important so right so these are the our timelines right especially for the timelines i see most of the members are interested in the seven to eight these timelines right so i also prefer this timelines only why because my nine to nine to ten batch is going to complete in the next one week or 10 days is going to complete so i cannot start in that batch now so this is the timeline 7 to 8 am ist 60 days this will happen so if if all are okay then uh, then we can start discussing the so from next uh, next class